Hello guys, my name is Democlis Rocha. I just had a lesson on Cambly website that I use to learn English and I'm recording this video right now so that you can learn with me as well. If you support this initiative, give us a thumbs up and if you want to know about our new video, subscribe to this channel. I will show you a clip from the time when I was confused about the word slap. Watch it. My phone, my phone, uh, I slept it. You say slept on the floor? Slapped? No. Dropped? Dropped. Thank you. I love that! Oh my gosh, I like that though. I slapped my phone on the floor. That's good. Well, I like it. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure about what slap means. A slapping is like when you slap the face of someone. Yeah. Okay, but that yeah. has nothing to do with what happened. <laughs> Not really, but that's okay. I still liked how it sounded. <laughs> so I dropped my phone on the floor. Yes. Not the first time. It has survived all of the times before. So as you can see, actually the word should be drop. You drop something on the floor. I dropped my phone on the floor and I got the screen broken. The next clip is about the time when I learned the difference about pet with an E and pet with an A. Watch it. Uh, are you familiar with uh, Modern Family? A little bit. Not, not, not very much. I could not tell you all the characters. Okay. There is this character, Gloria, and she is a very beautiful woman. She is married to Ray J. And he said, we're going to need a little extra time at the airport security because I'm pretty sure they're going to want to pat you down. Yeah. And I'm not sure about what pet you down means. I was wondering if that like when security people go through your body looking for if you have a gun or something wrong. Is that what pet that someone down means? Uh, pretty much. Although I think every time you go to the airport, usually they will, you know, Just touch, scan, make sure. Scan your body. Right, right. But a pat down usually is when they are suspicious of you and they will pull you away into a separate room and they will they will do a more in-depth pat down of your body to make sure there's nothing hidden anywhere. Oh, I see. Um, generally people don't get pat down unless they are suspicious about you. Well, Gloria is not American. She speaks with a strongly accent. She is Mexican. Oh. Huh? I'm Colombian. I Sofia Vergara, right? Yes. I love her so much. I love <laughs> Sofia Vergara. <laughs> I, I think she's pretty funny. She's, she's great. Seems to be a nice person. But what would you say the verb to pet means? Like, like to me, A-T. A -T, pet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, all the time, this word will mean if somebody... You know when someone gives you a hug and they do this uh -huh. on your back? They are patting you on the back. Mm. Anytime someone pats you on the shoulder, on the head, any it's like a little touch with your with your hand. Mm. And I, I have heard that before, but I didn't connect with this time here. And I was thinking that before when you touch someone like that, you're patting that person. But I, I thought that would be pat with an E. No. <laughs> No, only use that for animals. But if you touch an uh, animal, like you, if you do like that with your cat, are you petting the cat? Mm -hmm. But with yes. an A or with an E? An E. Ah, you're pet. petting the... <laughs> you should only use this word pet with animals. Okay. Don't ever say that you are petting a person. That will not be good. <laughs> that okay. sounds the same though. Okay, that's a good thing. <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, don't use this for people. Someone will look at you strange uh, if, you, if you say this. But do, do you see a difference in the pronunciation? Personally, yes. Oh, really? Pet, pat. Okay, but that sounds <laughs> a, a lot they're like... Very, yeah. They're very similar. It's just a little difference, but again, it's just because I speak English. Pet, pat. So, if you pet someone on the back, you pet with an A. And if you pet your pet, like your cat or your dog, you pet with an E. And there is supposedly a difference in the pronunciation. You tell me if you were able to notice the difference in the pronunciation, because I'm still struggling with that. Have you ever heard the word zesty? Because I had never before. I just heard it for the first time today, and I talked to the tutor about it. 
I think people use this word very loosely to mean a lot of things, but the definition of it is someone who is very active or very energetic, mm. someone who has a lot of energy. Um, I think those are the most common. Okay, and that matches the, the context here. How would you pronounce that word? Zesty. 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 Yeah. Okay, yeah, it, yeah. it matches. So, Phil and Claire, the parents, in the morning of their anniversary, their kids decided to surprise them in bed with <laughs> morning breakfast, right? Okay. So the kids walked in while they were having sex, and that was <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> And while Claire was going crazy about how to handle that situation, <laughs> um, Phil um, said a joke, and he said, and, and she was uh, she was more even more upset because of the joke, because she was oh, crazy about what the situation. And he said, "Forgive me for thinking your zesty performance yeah. de deserves a praise." <laughs> Zesty. I didn't know what zesty was. There you go. I, I thought it would be just something like good or great performance. Well, and that's what I was going to tell you that people do use this word very generally to mean, like you said, good, great, uh, impressive. I've heard it used about this, but generally it's like energetic or like active. Okay, remember if this video is being somehow helpful to you like this video and share okay the next clip is about the expression confirmed bachelor and the word yorkie okay let's watch it together mitchell and cameron are a gay couple and they have a daughter lily and they were talking to someone and mitchell said although if this was the 60s We'd be a couple of confirmed bachelors, and Lily would be a Yorkie. Okay. So confirmed bachelors mean like someone who never got married, right? Is that what it means? Exactly. Uh, for a male. Right, exactly. Okay. But w what about Yorkie? Because he said Lily, th their baby that they adopted, would be a Yorkie. Mm -hmm. What is Yorkie? A Yorkie is a type of dog. It's like a very little little breed of dog, very cute um, little tiny oh, dog. So he is just, yeah, he's just making a joke that. Oh, sorry. Okay. He's just making a joke that if it was 50 years ago, they would not have a child together. They would have a dog together. Okay. If you want to use Cambly for the first time, you can use my link in the description below, and you can have some free minutes. I am sure you're gonna like it, because I love it. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope this video was somehow helpful to you. If it was, like the video, share and subscribe. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.